Our next story is about a friendship on the rocks. It involves two friends who until recently seemed inseparable. They're now viewing each other with suspicion. The friends I'm talking about are Sri Lanka and China. For the last one decade, their friendship has blossomed. The ties have been cemented, but now cracks are emerging. Colombo and Beijing are fighting over something unusual, organic fertilizers. It's a very interesting story. Listen to this. In April this year, Sri Lanka banned chemical fertilizers. It switched to organic fertilizers, and it decided to produce them at home. Domestically, no imports. Their foreign reserves were dwindling, and this decision not importing fertilizers, was expected to save the government around $400 million. But Sri Lankan farmers did not like the plan. They resisted the switch. They cited the lack of expertise and time, so Colombo relented. They would import fertilizers, they said, but only the organic variety, no chemicals. And for this, they turned to China, to a Chinese fertilizer company called Qingdao Sea Wind Biotech. This company was to import 96,000 metric tons of organic fertilizer into Sri Lanka at the cost of $42 million. They sent a consignment, 20,000 tons. This was in September. But Colombo rejected it. Why? Because it was contaminated with bacteria. Sri Lanka's National Plant Quarantine Services tested a sample from this consignment brought by a Chinese ship. They found it to be contaminated with harmful bacteria called Irvinia. It's an innocuous sounding name, but it causes plant rot and other infections. It could lead to major crop loss. So Sri Lanka rejected the Chinese ship, the Chinese fertilizer consignment. And that's not all. Sri Lanka also halted the deal, the entire $42 million deal with China. How did China respond? Like it always does. Beijing blacklisted a top state-owned bank in Sri Lanka. It cited a vicious letter of credit default for the fertilizer deal. And this is the People's Bank of Sri Lanka we're talking about. It has been blacklisted for failing to pay the Chinese company. Officials on both sides are clashing over who's at fault. The Chinese embassy in Colombo tried defending its country rather creatively. They tweeted. They tried to explain the chronology of events according to China. And the tone of the tweet made it sound more like a threat. You can look it up. And when you do, look for another story. The ship that carried the contaminated fertilizer to Sri Lanka has now changed its name and returned. I'm not making this up. I'm not kidding. On the 22nd of September, the ship arrived in Sri Lanka with a consignment. At that time, its name was Hippo Spirit. That's what the ship was called, the Chinese ship. Then on 14th October, after Sri Lanka had blocked that ship, it sailed to Singapore from where it was expected to go back to China, but here the ship deactivated its automatic identification system. This is a system which basically helps you track a vessel's movement. All ships have it, but this Chinese ship, it deactivated it. It went out of range. Then on the 24th of October, the same ship was spotted again at the Humban Tota port in Sri Lanka. This time it came with another name. It was called Seyo Explorer. So how do we know it's the same ship? Because it carries the same identification number. You see, this number remains unchanged. You can change the name of a ship, you can change its flag, its owner, but this identification number will remain the same. So it's easy to spot that ship. So now you know what the Chinese tried to do. They tried to trick the Lankans. They were exposed. It's remarkable the extent to which China can go to get its order accepted, to get its contaminated, bacteria-ridden order accepted. What's worse, it's doing this to a country like Sri Lanka, a country that considers China its most important ally, at least one of the most important ones. This sort of duplicity should be yet another wake-up call for Colombo. It needs to realize that China cannot be trusted, not with loans, not with development projects, not even with fertilizers. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.